What secrets do we have in the workshop this week? Spy for yourself and watch. <laughs> Good afternoon, good evening, and whatever, however, whenever you're watching this video. No, I'm kidding. How are you doing today? I am your paint slinger, and we are going to jump right into what we are doing today. It is a brand new board game. It's called Tomorrow Dies Today. It's kind of like a 007 sort of game, but if you want to see more about that check out our other guys here we're checking out miniatures well the miniatures that come with the game are single piece metal miniatures and i've already gone ahead and i have primed them so these are the two that we're going to work on over the next couple hours or the next couple of parts anyway one is a hacker and the other is kind of a scientist type guy. And uh, so we're just going to jump right into it. Now, for the, uh, for the hacker, actually for both of them, what we're going to do is we're going to take our Abaddon Black. Now what we're going to do gives give them a slight coat of paint over top just to fill in any of the creases and crevices that we may have that we may have missed when we were uh, or when I was priming them Hopefully it's, hopefully it's not too much, but also it will help with the paint stick. And if we decide that any parts want to be, or we want to keep any, any parts black, uh, it will be easier to fix those black parts. all be the same color because the chaos black and the abaddon the chaos black primer that i use and the abaddon black color that i use are slightly different shades so if you were to you know cover over just primer you'd notice so this is our first step in today is uh, giving these guys an extra coat of black paint nice and covered there we go and at least for now that's all we really need the chaos black for could change later Probably will change later. And if you see me making funny faces, I am so sorry, but my uh, I have some slight pain in my face these last little while, and it's just not 
giving up. So I apologize. So all we're doing now is just waiting for these guys to dry. But we're going to work, probably going to work on the hacker first. And we're going to kind of work our way out. So we're going to start. All right. I start with Mephiston Red. I like using a lot of red in what I paint because I do reds really, really well. So, I like red. Hopefully, this helps dry the paint a little bit faster and we can get to work. Yeah. To start. <laughs> That's okay. There's lots of places we can go first. So we are going to take our nope. We're take our medium base brush. going to put a little bit of red and we're going to thin it out a little bit and then we are going to start Start making the red hoodie. Get right in there. sure that uh, we're getting nice nice even coats Because these are single cast metal, uh, there really isn't any opportunity for you to do sub assemblies or or anything. You just kind of work it and go with 
what you can as best as you can Pretty good, I think. Oh, come off screen a little bit. Sorry for that, guys. There we are. Got the red going in there. There we are. We'll let that dry up a little bit. Again, I apologize if I'm making faces, but this part of my face right here has a bit of pain going through it. So, so it is what it is. It's not much I can do about it right now. Now let's take a look at our scientist, who we're also going to kind of Well, he's a lot drier than the perfect than our hacker. I'm going to start with his lap coat. Again, shake your paints. Actually, we're going to go back right back to the same. This isn't the one. This is my small dry brush, which I don't want. We're going to go right back to the same brush we just used. We're only going to use our Corax White. And we are going to take the tiniest amount of water to thin it down. And then it's going to be a lot. A lot of white. And again, don't be too worried if you mess up at this point. Things will be cleaned up and made to look beautiful. Right now we can get into all the nooks and crannies, creases and crevices. And do that all important second coat. Start coming around the front. Continue to just fill in and get that lab coat looking good.
and again, I, I can't stress enough that no matter how much, you know, we can make a ton of mess right now. We'll fix it later. Into that important second coat and try and even it out, make it nice and solid. Just keep working, working that white. Work it into all the nooks and crannies and make sure that you try and get every part of that lab coat. Of course, since it's, you know, since it's white, well, take a, it's going to take a little bit longer. to build up and look good and of course while this is going on the hacker beside me or right down there in front is taking his sweet time to dry up. All right, now we're going to go back in between the legs. Get that coat. Now, if that doesn't come out too terribly white, that's okay, because shadow. There we go. Our lab coat's looking, starting to look pretty good, hey? Clean your brush. Clean your brush. And, uh... Make sure that all is good. Now for the hacker, we are going to go in and we are going to do a wash of Agrax Earthshade, you know, the standard wash that I do just about, that I do just for just about everything. to help bring out the shadows of our hacker. There we go. It also helps, you know, put the shadows on the hacker. Hee hee hee. I know, that's horrible.
But you're here for the painting and not for the jokes. So what we're doing is we're just taking the taking the shade and working it all around the miniature. Working it into the crevices. touch him for a while. And of course you can hear that I'm cleaning my brushes. For my doctor, I actually want to make him a nice dark skinned fella. But before we do that, let's take a look over. missed any real horrible places nope I don't think so again we shake up the paint make sure we're okay now we're gonna go in A little bit more control. So we're going to use a small layer brush. And we are going to start doing the skin. Now, I mean, if you're going to do this to the board game, make sure that you look at your cards and uh, look at the box art and make sure you're following along at the sound of the gong. I, however, am kind of... going to my own beat and I like this idea the you know as I've always said these are your miniatures. You can paint them. However you want.
And, you know, growing up watching science fiction like Star Trek and all that kind of stuff. To me, it doesn't matter. So, I'm having a good-looking guy. It's kind of based on Ben Sisko from DS9. My favorite Star Trek, by the way. We got really not much else left to do except for waiting. Well, no, that's not entirely true. I really like this contrast color. It's called Apothecary White. This one really needs to be shook up. kind of do is you kind of take it and put a bunch in your palette maybe wet it down and you brush it over top of the white Kind of shades things in for you. And then you go back afterwards and pick out your highlights. looking white lab coat now it dries pretty fast but always good to leave it for a little extra long and uh, yeah it's a fantastic start when we come back we will have our scientist and our hacker ready to go to the next level and we will work on it from there. So until then, stay safe, be safe, and we'll see you in the workshop.